If you want to get that first taste of 5G, you need to book a ticket to Seoul, South Korea. Three Korean operators, SK Telecom, KT, and LGU Plus have already announced their plans to launch a consumer 5G network this spring. And more than that, they all moved up their deadline to launch it by one month. And we will be going commercial with 5G smartphone next month. So in a month, 5G will be coming into full life. We have just started the 5G commercial service from the end of last year. 5G is already a reality in Korea. We are at the forefront of providing the large scale and the best 5G mobile networks and offering immersive 5G experience that was previously unthinkable to our customers. A key partner for each of these operators in Korea is Samsung Networks, which provides an end-to-end -end service for 5G. KT has long-term uh, partnership with Samsung for decades. As a end-to-end uh, -end solution provider, Samsung is very good partner. SK Telecom and Samsung have been leading the mobile communications industry of Korea for uh, years. Uh, and since 2014, uh, we have been working on 5G technologies with Samsung. For starters, seeing is believing, and Samsung Networks has managed to shrink the technology that goes into their RF units, their radio units for 5G. Take a look at this chipset. It's 36% smaller than its predecessor, and that's smaller than a US penny. A smaller chip means a smaller radio unit that houses it. And that's crucial for 5G because there's going to be a lot more radio units deployed in a metro network. Samsung works hand in hand with carriers not only to build these 5G networks, but also to help monetize them. A recent acquisition of an AI-powered platform is already helping carriers to automate the management of their 5G networks. South Korea is one country that seems to be a little bit ahead of the curve in terms of their 5G deployment. Can you go into that a little bit? I mean, it's true. South Korea is one of the regions in the world that is definitely leading the way when it comes to 5G. It's not the only one. Um, but it's definitely one of the, the few that are in the front of the pack. The countries that are leading in, in 5G right now are the ones that have a few key uh, elements. Uh, they have the spectrum that's a free spectrum that's available so they don't have to refarm. They have a, a, a regulatory and government climate um, that will allow them to deploy the physical infrastructure necessary to, to turn on 5G. South Korea has like a, a real good uh, fiber, fiber infrastructure inside of the country and that helps a lot. South Korea piloted their 5G capabilities during the Winter Olympics in 2018. Uh, we took Pyeongchang Olympic as a good opportunity to experiment various 5G services. And based on our experience at Pyeongchang, we have developed various services including 5G connected car, smart factory, uh, smart cities, healthcare, learning, and so forth. On Light Reading, we've already reported on some of the industrial use cases that are live right now in South Korea. For example, there's a car parts manufacturing facility that's using 5G to send extremely high resolution photos of their manufacturing process into the computer network, and it's helping them improve the process of the assembly line. On MWC this week, uh, we are showcasing various use cases uh, enabled by technology mix of 5G and IT technologies. Uh, one of them is a smart factory service which is already commercialized in our 5G networks, providing uh, efficient operations uh, with MEC and uh, AI technology. And here at MWC, we saw 5G take to the skies. KT 5G Skyship is basically a big unmanned air vehicle which is integrated with, with the drone. This is a research recovery drone for live events and for, for dramatic situations. So what we have here is a live video feed from that drone in Busan, in Korea. So this thing is actually floating somewhere up in the sky in Korea? It is, and you can see the live footage coming here onto the screen. Once it goes live in somewhere like South Korea and people can get their hands on 5G from a consumer perspective, do you think that that's going to send a reality check or there's going to be lessons learned for other markets that could see how it rolls out there? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, any of these countries that are, that are on the bleeding edge of 5G, um, the lessons that, that operators are learning in those countries, uh, those lessons are very valuable. 
uh, and those lessons will trickle down to the vendors and then they'll also trickle down to other operators in other countries uh, who are also you know, in the initial stages of 5G. But don't think for a minute that Samsung is keeping 5G just in Korea. In the US, Sprint selected Samsung as its number one partner for the rollout of radio units for 5G in the Chicago metro area, and Samsung had a role in the rollout of Verizon's home service for 5G over the last few months. But for now, at least, if you want to get your hands on a working 5G network, your best bet is to book a trip to South Korea. But I heard it's lovely this time of year.